What's up, guys? This is Zach from Zach's Hockey Box, and uh, we are here with our Western Conference jersey collection. I know what the Eastern one didn't do as well, but uh, again, things are kind of slow right now for hockey cards, and we're at the Nationals this week, so we're going to do this Western Conference and uh, finish it up this week. So, yeah, no more jersey videos after this one if you guys don't like them. If you do like them, we have a lot uh, coming from the, the Western Conference here. We are going to be starting with Anaheim, working our way through, I believe, alphabetically. I think I have it all alphabetical. Um, and then, yeah, so that's how we're going to do this. I did say we are going to mention when we we're going to stream and all that stuff, but we uh, I just got a new job, so I have to see what that schedule is going to look like before I can find out what day I'm streaming next month. And uh, at that point, then I will let you know as soon as I know that schedule. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Anaheim Ducks jersey. Bam! So we got a nice old Anaheim Mighty Ducks jersey right here, which, again, a lot of these all have that same logo. I don't have any of the one with the duck bill or the one that says ducks. Not a big fan of either one of those, so I got the Mighty Ducks ones. Uh, again, I got this one from like a thrift show type thing, and the next uh, Arizona I also have one from the thrift show. Again, it was like some thrift show in Michigan I went to. I got them for like 20 bucks a piece. So yeah, next we have the orange Mighty Ducks jersey, which again, I love this jersey. It's bright orange. I like it because it stands out and it has the best logo that they've ever had on it uh, with the, the duck bills on the sides and I'm in the middle. Uh, I think I got this from Dick's Sporting Goods and I got it on sale at one point in time. Next up, we have the best 25th anniversary jersey I think any team's ever had right here. This one is with the, the purple right here for the original White Ducks. You got the original logo, the poofy for the one jersey that had that. The duck logos here, the, the, the bills up there. You got the 25th anniversary season. Um, and yeah, just kind of, again, just kind of mishmash of all their jerseys throughout the decades, the kind of striping from the Ducks era. And yeah, just really cool, really clean looking jersey. Really like that 25th anniversary jersey. And then my favorite Ducks jersey I own. I just got this recently. If you follow us on Instagram, you would have saw me post about it. it is the reverse retro that they wore this year. The Mighty Wing jersey. I love this jersey. It's so ugly and I love it. I still need to get a hat to match it, but I love that jersey. And it has Maxime Quantois on the back. So I was super excited to get that as well. Again, if you guys know the story, I've mentioned this many a times on the channel that I love this thing and how much I paid for it and why I got it. So yeah, love that jersey. So let's go ahead and jump into Arizona next. I'm gonna just do a quick little switcheroo because I realized I put all these on the wrong way when it comes to when they were released. So bam, bam, bam. Okay, gonna try and make this video here a bit quicker than the last time too. I know the last one's kind of long. Kachina, again, this is the one I picked up at the thrift store. Same with that Muddy Ducks jersey. The original Kachina, and it does say that Phoenix Coyotes on the shoulder patch, which is why I love this jersey because of that reason right there. So we got the Kachina. We have up to commentaries daydreaming over there. <laughs> the Arizona Coyotes jersey with the Reebok version. Um, again, they're supposed to getting away from this jersey this year, so kind of sad. That's, and this is the Reebok premiere, so it's not authentic. Um, slight difference, main reason I want to show you, I did cut out some jerseys that were kind of just replicas of the, the Adidas that I have, so I just cut them out to shorten the video. And the big reason is because here's the idea of authentic and it has that suede on the the bottom here and it's just it's it's a beautiful jersey i love that suede on the bottom to make it give it that feel of like skin and stuff that that's just such a great jersey the the neckline is beautiful the paul from the a on it again great jersey and my all-time favorite jersey right here the space coyote jersey right here we got the reverse retro they wore this year Super excited to pull the, to get this one. This is one of the ones I pre-ordered when they announced these because I knew it was going to sell it right away, and it did. So yes, I'm very excited to have that. And if you guys have seen me wear the hat, I've worn the hat in this jersey in many videos. But yeah, no, I I love this jersey again with the the skyline there. The, it's just yeah, it's a beautiful jersey, beautifully ugly. Next up, we have the Calgary Flames. Do that switch there. Oh bam! So I do have a Reebok normal Calgary Flames jersey again. It's the same as the one that's behind this one. So. Not gonna, not gonna waste your time with that one. But I do like this one with the Calgary word mark on it. I normally don't like word marks, but it does have the C in there, the logo, and I like the mountain range in the in the in the neckline. I really like that. So yeah, this is one of those jerseys that is wasn't very popular, I don't believe, back when it came out, but it's still really good. Um, again, good fun jersey. I really like that one. And then obviously we have the uh, red Calgary Flames jersey right there. This one has James Neal on the back, so it's kind of cool to get a James Neal. For that and then obviously again I, i've always been a fan of the flames so it's really cool to have one of their jerseys especially with the two patches which i found out apparently they had a really fight to get these patches put onto the the, the shoulders i didn't know that because uh they had to get the i think it was like the, they had to contact the canadian government 
in order to uh, to um, put those on there. They weren't allowed to just do it. They had to contact the Canadian government in order to do it. So that was really interesting to find that out. I was doing a lot of research on the Coyotes, or not the Coyotes, the Calgary Flames jerseys and found that little piece out. That's Vancouver. Sorry, we were cleaning one of the jerseys the cats have been laying on. I tried to look at commentary where to put them. So we have the Blackhawks. So this is the Reebok replica Blackhawk, which I normally wouldn't show you, but it does have the name on it. And we'll be putting the Stan Makita patch on this one as well once I get it. And it's my Jonathan Tays Reebok replica or Reebok premiere right there. We got the jersey I wore in one of the more recent videos that I was super excited to find. The Stadium Series Blackhawk jersey. Got it for $50 at a local store here. So that was super exciting to the shimmer and the logo and stuff like that and i want to get the patch for this one as well so this one i was super excited about getting six years after the event happened so that's always nice the authentic blackhawk with again the chain stitching which again if you guys have not seen blackhawk jersey as a person uh you have to at least see one in person to really get the feel of it but that chain stitching is beautiful getting authentic if you can get an authentic blackhawk jersey definitely get an authentic blackhawks and they also have the chain stitching on the shoulder patch as well so this is my Duncan Keith, the newest member of your Calgary Flames right there. And next up we have the Reverse Retro uh, Blackhawks jersey. So Kid Commentary bought this one for me uh, from the Adidas store down in uh, downtown Chicago. So I was happy to get that one added to the Reverse Retro collection. It's not my favorite, but again, it's one I didn't have, so I was super glad to get it. Next up we have the Dallas Stars. So first up is, again, if you guys have been watching the channel long enough, you know this is the first jersey I ever got. The Dallas Stars, again, really old board mark logo there i really like this jersey still i like the new branding they have but this one still kind of resonates with me as a kid and it will probably be getting autographed this weekend because on the back is brett hall and he is actually going to be at the the um nationals this year for autograph signing so i'm probably going to be taking this with me to get autographed and then i want to get it framed with my chris osgood autograph that you guys saw in the last video so these will hopefully get framed and be in the backdrop probably at the newer place whenever we do move to a bigger place we'll probably hang those up in the background somewhere be in some kind of videos we have that one. Next up, we have our Adidas Authentic Dallas Stars jersey with the new logo and everything. I do like I like the bright green. I like the logo. It's a perfect logo inside the word mark. I just I like the I like the, the, the Dallas Stars logo and jersey. And this is my, again my Jason Robertson jersey. I just got this from from Cool Hockey. Got them to put Robertson in the back. Twenty one. Again, I think this kid's gonna be amazing for a long time to come in the league. So I picked up a jersey again. They have a nice sale going on. So I picked up put Jason Robertson on the back for that reason. And then we got the the nice uh, fourth jersey, I guess they would call it, uh, for the Dallas Stars with uh, the neon green on it. Which again, I love the neon green, the black and neon green. It's again, even in this lighting, it just it just pops. I like it. it. It looks amazing. And then in the neckline, they have "Come and Take It," which is again, I guess, the motto from the the um. I think it was the motto from the Alamo. I think I could be wrong. Definitely could be wrong on that, but I believe it was something like that. And then kind of like the state flag with the, the star there in the neckline. So yeah, this is really cool Dallas Stars jerseys. I've always been a big fan of the Dallas Stars jerseys, personally. So next up, we have... Yeah, those should be all good. Yeah, look at that kitty comedy. You should get them in. We have the Way Colorado jersey, which I'm super excited about because I got this from the Colorado Team Store when they had a sale going on. Unfortunately, they didn't put the 20th anniversary patch hat that I asked them to do because it said in the picture that they had it. I asked to put it on and they didn't do it. But uh, I got this one from the team store, and it has Kale McCarr on it. So I got myself a Kale McCarr Colorado jersey, which I'm super excited about. Interesting. Just had something fall off of it. I had the eight fall off. Weird. That's supposed to be in the middle? Interesting. I don't know what that's about. Oh, no, dear. Is that just it's inside? inside okay, that's, the I've worn this jersey a few times, too, and that's never come off. So there you go, guys. Exclusive right there. So the Kale McCarr jersey. Um, it's yeah. always McCarr! Yep. And then uh, we got ourselves, again, the home jersey right here with number nine, Matt Duchesne, which is why we made the joke of I have eight and nine. Now I just need to get seven through one for Colorado and have all their jerseys one uh, one through eight there. Then we have the third jersey they wore for a while there with the kind of, kind of looking like the Colorado Rockies logo uh, with the, the C from their, their flag and all that fun stuff there. So again, Another fun jersey. I don't remember where I got this one off the top of my head, but again, being one of the few cities I got to visit um, before the pandemic, Colorado does have a little bit of special place in my heart for that. And I got to see him play in St. Louis. So again, kind of big news for uh, Colorado. And then we have the reverse retro Nordiques jersey from them, which again is another one I'm super excited I got. I ordered this one from the Adidas store. 
back when they first came out and it was one of the t one of the three I ordered and I got two of them the Ducks one was the one they canceled on me but okay I got it down the road but yeah no I love the Nordiques jersey I've always loved the Nordiques jersey so I'm glad I got it in this version I still want to get the powdered blue version which I love I would love for them to come out with maybe one day we'll see next up we have the Edmonton Oilers switch Bam, Edmonton Oilers. So again, this is the orange jersey they have that they kind of wear at home. I guess they're kind of, it looks like they're going to be going away from that and using that again, neon orange with like the dark blue jersey. It looks like that's what they use most of the season for home jerseys. So I don't know if that's what they're going to be using from now on for home jerseys. So this one we might not be seeing much more. And then we have the reverse retro Oilers jersey, which again, I got on Adidas site. They have it on clearance right now. So I picked it up for I think with all the sale promotions that I had, I got it for like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Uh, so yeah, I was like, sure, I don't have a white Oilers jersey and it's on like 60, 70 bucks. Sure, I'll pick that up for a reverse retro. Um, can't have too many reverse retros is my theory on that one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this one, this is the, the LA Kings. Uh, I have quite a few LA Kings jerseys. It's kind of, I, I didn't realize I had so many LA Kings jerseys. But yeah, uh, as I was putting these all together, I found out I had a lot of them. So uh, first up, we have the Stadium Series jersey that they had for, uh, I think it was 2016 when they played Anaheim, I believe. Or they played San Jose, I forget. I know they played one of the two, Anaheim or San Jose, I can't remember exactly. But yeah, no, again, same kind of like weird logo where it creases if you bend and stuff like that. So I was super glad to find one of those on sale. Now actually two crowns for the two Stanley Cups they won. So yeah, again, another really fun one. I'm glad I got to add to the collection. Again, these are, these are hard to find without that crease and damaged logo. We have the Reebok. LA Kings jersey, which has Alec Martinez on the back. So we'll do that. So Alec Martinez and recently added the 2014 Stanley Cup final patch. So I was super happy to be able to add that to the jersey as well. Again, just kind of makes it that much more of a unique jersey, I think. We have the Parlay jersey from the All-Star game. So again, looks kind of like the next one. Yep, the next one I'm gonna show you is like, I think that's what that was. But yeah, no, the Parlay jerseys, I do like these. I told you guys I had a lot of them and I'll have a lot more in the Western Conference than I did in the Eastern Conference. So. Yeah, no, I like this. The, the crown is so much more crisper than on the, the, the Reebok one I had. But yeah, the parlay jerseys are awesome, and that's what they're going to this year. They're going to be doing the same kind of parlay type stuff with the jerseys this year, which I think is why they delayed the Seattle jerseys so long. Then you have the home, sorry, the away jersey from the LA Kings. I picked this one off of a Facebook group. Someone was selling it for like 50 bucks. Clearly got it from Ross because the tag's still there. I've looked at a few for Rosses here in Chicago. Never been lucky enough to find any jerseys. But luckily, I got this bad boy from a seller on eBay. So I got the, the Wave. And then I have the, I guess, third jersey. Ooh, there's a nice hole in the front of that one. But yeah. You're being so rough on your jerseys. Yeah. Cats. That's what happens when you have cats. Don't blame the boys. Oh, that's the cats. Okay. But no, uh, so this is the third jersey they have again. I like it, again, with the, the purple and the neckline with the two crowns, the two Stanley Cups, and just the darker gray with the black. I do like this one better than um, the black one they usually wear. So. Hopefully keep it around. We'll see. I do want to get the reverse retro one day for the Kings too with the purple. That was a really good, really good choice by them to wear that that purple. Next up, some of my favorite jerseys as well. The Minnesota Wild. Again, Wade jersey first. So again, just my favorite logo. Such an artistic logo. My favorite logo in my NHL. It has green on it, so I've been a big fan of them as well because of the green, the logo, everything like that. And I still love to put like Caprice off or something on the back of this as long as it stays with the team. I would love to put Matt Boldy on one of these because I got his autograph and been kind of following his career relatively closely since he got drafted. So Matt Boldy would be kind of a nice one to get that put on one of these jerseys as well. We have the home jersey, which again, one of my favorites, best logo, all the green, can't go wrong with that, that green Minnesota jersey, I love it. And then another one I pre-ordered <laughs> before uh, they sold out was the Minnesota Wild with the North Stars colors, which everyone's speculating this is going to be what they kind of do for the, the Winter Classic this year, except for maybe like with the green inside of the white and make it green and yellow, which I would buy. I'll buy that in a second. But yeah, no, I lo again, love the <laughs> the logo with the colors of the old school team. Great choice for them and that reverse retro. So yeah, I had to pre-order that one for sure before it sold out. Next up, we have the National Predators. Almost, she almost got completely right. She was off by one jersey. Give her credit. So we have this one, it's the Reebok one. This is one of the jerseys I grew up watching them wear when I first started to like the National Predators, when Pecorino was first coming in. I love this jersey. I love the, the silvering on the, the jersey shoulders. I just It was something different. Nobody really had like a silver color on their jerseys. So it made me kind of a fan. And the blue, the yellow, I kind of would love to see them do this, hopefully for the stadium series, some kind of blue jersey 
the, the yellow is okay. It just it's not my not my favorite of their jerseys. Let me actually switch it up like that. Screwed up a little bit more than but that was. That one was on me. That one was on me. Not you. Just giving that look of like, did I screw up? No. no. Kitty commentary does not mess up. <laughs> We have the yellow one, which again, I don't like these jerseys. I, I don't like the color yellow. Like this bright of a yellow, I just I just don't like it. That's not my favorite coloring. It's just, yeah, that, that goldish yellowish color. I just not a big fan of it. I wish I'd go back to the blue with the silver, but that's just me personally. And this is my PK Subban jersey. So yeah, obviously I got this one on sale because he's no longer on the team. We have the white one, which again, I do like a little bit better with the, the music or the... Uh, piano type keys or music keys in the back in the neckline which is really cool and it's just again the yellow is more of an accent i like that all yellow is just it's not enough it's not broken up enough i just don't like that full-on yellow situation there and then we have switch that one more time well bam the reverse retro national pride jersey which again they had on sale on adidas site and i think they still have it there if you guys are looking to pick it up again it has that that silvering to it that i really like the old school one with the patch that i knew the logo i grew up with so i picked it up i'm like sure for sit on sale for like 70 bucks i'll pick that up as well add it to the reverse retro collection it's the same yellow yeah but it's only an accented yellow i like it when it's an accent i don't like when it's full-on yellow like it's, it's the the full yellow that i have a problem with shark week shark week so it's shark well bam okay so we have the same as the Sharks next, so we're getting through this pretty quick. We're doing good. I'm trying to keep it under that half hour mark that we did last time. Again, original San Jose Sharks logo. We picked this up. I think I picked it up through again, a Facebook group. Somebody was selling it. Um, it doesn't fit me that well. I've given it to Kitty Commentary since then, but the original Sharks logo, kind of like they did this year for the 30th anniversary. Same design, I believe, just kind of updated from the, that, and it has the 30th anniversary logo. But yeah, again, Sharks logo I grew up watching with Mike Vernon wearing it and stuff like that. This is the one I really like. Even though Sharks jerseys, again, are pretty nice in general. So this is kind of like their current one they use with the different Sharks logo pat or the Shark patch there. I don't know if you guys can really see the patch there. So they're kind of, but yeah, no. I do like the Sharks jerseys. I like the teal. I like the design of the shark head. Again, as a shark, it's a cool animal to be, like, named after. They do a great job making it feel like an ocean type of feel to it with the shark. And it's just, it's a great jersey, great color scheme that they use over there in San Jose. And you guys probably know this one again if you've been watching for a while, the white San Jose Sharks jersey. So the white jersey um, that I'm very happy to have because I picked up on sale and I got this patch finally. The Patrick Marlowe becoming the number one most played games in NHL history player it was the same night we hit 500 subscribers. So I had to get that patch. This jersey means probably the most to me out of almost any of these jerseys because of that fact of, again, a historic moment for the NHL and a historic moment for the, for the, the channel as well. So again, that jersey does mean a lot to me, so one of my favorites. And then we have the black stealth jersey they have, which again, I do like the shoulder patches. They're kind of like the old school shoulder patches that they had on the original um, the original jerseys. They got, again, just all black, which again, normally black doesn't work this much black, you wouldn't think would be that great, but it does the blue accents as well. And they have like the SA, the SJ in the, the sh sleeve here. See if I can get a little bit closer, you guys. Yeah, you can kind of see that SJ in there, which is really cool in the design. And it's a Brent Burns jersey. I got this on clearance. I want to say through Dick's Sporting Goods as well. Again, they had it on sale for some reason. Um, it's not like he was traded or not playing or something like that. But yeah, no, they had it on sale one time for like 60 bucks, something like that. So I picked it up. I'm like, sure, I'll take that jersey. And then they both jacked up the price shortly after I bought it. So I'm glad I got it while I while I got the chance on sale. Next up, we got St. Louis. We got a couple jerseys you guys have seen from our St. Louis Blues or Enterprise Center. Um arena review type video so this is the jersey that kitty commentary wore uh again the original reebok blue note one again i like the blues jersey it's not it's not my favorite but i like it i like the design it's a very unique design again with the blue note and all that fun stuff i like it it's it's very unique to st louis i like that a lot and then this is paul stastny on the back and then we have the uh thirds they wore a few years ago where they went to the their 90s logo which again i love this jersey it's the one that i grew up watching I have the hat that matches it now, which I really like from the first stretches this year. The trumpet shoulder patches and stuff. I just This is the jersey I remember watching. The Red Wings beat the St. Louis Blues a lot in the 90s wearing this jersey. So again, it just brings back that childhood memory. So had to get this one for the collection. Next up, we got the good old Vancouver Canucks. So these are probably slightly out of order, but honestly, oh well, whatever. We got 
the stick and ring jersey with the 50th anniversary patch on it, which I'm super happy to get. I got I got that from the team store because you can't get it anywhere besides from the team store. So I was super glad I got that patch. So I now have Buffalo and Vancouver both with those 50th anniversary patches on it. So I was super happy to get those. And then we are all Canucks in the inside line. Again, just again, clean jersey, very simple, old school looking jersey. Just update with the Adidas, and I think the Adidas do a good job updating the old jerseys. Then we have the white Vancouver jersey, which I got from the team store as well, because I had a lot of these on sale for a while there. And I thought it was going to come with that 50th anniversary patch, and I wanted to get that and put Quinn Hughes on it. Unfortunately, though, this one did not come with that patch, thus I got that one with the sticker ring with it. So I was like, well, I don't, now I have all the Vancouver jerseys. But yeah, no, I do like the white Vancouver jersey. Um, one day, again, probably put Quinn Hughes in the back of this one, or the one coming up in a minute here. But one of them will have Quinn Hughes in the back of it. But I like the white jersey. Again, it's very, very good. Didn't you get your face mask from that order, too? One of the orders, yeah. I got the Bull Horvat. They sent me, like, a Bull Horvat um, face mask that has Horvat on the side and has his number on it. Really nice mask. Yeah, the Vancouver team store definitely takes care of their, their fans, especially um, when you order anything and get stuff shipped. They sent us a couple of free things, so that was really cool. I like, I like, I do like ordering from the, I think it's Van City Sports, I think is what it's called, or Van Base. Some of, something along those lines is what it is. Just type in Vancouver Canucks team store. That's what I normally do, and... It'll, you just have to look a little bit and you'll find it. This one is, again, their, away, or their home jerseys with the captain C. I got put on that because um, the, the one I, when I bought this, it didn't have a C on it, so I got one put on there because of the, the bull hurt bat on the back of it. So, yeah, kind of happy to get that one. Again, I think he's a good player. I had him on my fantasy team, I think, last year or the year before that. So, again, a again, little bit of a tie-in with my fantasy team. Some of these jerseys, I pick them up for that reason. If a team player does really good for it or helps me win, I pick up their jerseys when I can. And then we have the old um, skate jersey for the Vancouver Canucks. I like this jersey. Uh, I do remember them wearing this and seeing a lot of video again back from the 94 run when they had this on. So as a kid, I watched a lot of those videos and it brings back those childhood memories having this. So I was debating about getting Quinn Hughes put on this one or the white jersey. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments below which one you think would be better to get Quinn Hughes put on. And I'll have to work on getting those put on. White jersey. White. So take commentary votes for white. You guys let me know. Next up, we got Vancouver, Can oh, Vancouver, <gasps> Vegas, Vegas Golden Knights. How dare you? I was looking at the Vancouver jerseys, you're holding. So anyways, Vegas Golden Knights, um, again, super excited to get this one because this has also James Neal on the back of it. So I'm only missing two jerseys now for James Neal to have his, his whole collection of jerseys. Um, and it has, I got the inaugural season patch, put that on there. So super excited about that one as well. Uh, again, just for being able to say that I went to the draft and got to really get to experience that first season for the Vegas Golden Knights, this jersey means that much for me for how much it kind of uh, helped build st st my momentum towards building this channel, a lot of fun stuff. So this jersey means a lot for that. And then we have, obviously, the white jersey. I picked up, I think, again, from a Facebook group. Somebody was selling it for 50 bucks. Uh, I think it was another Ross pickup, so I'll pick it up for 50 bucks. And, yeah, no, again, Golden Knights jerseys are really nice. And we just today, as of this recording, picked up the gold Golden Knights jersey. Won't be in this video, obviously, because I just bought it today, but uh, they had it on sale at Sports, I want to say Sports K jerseys. He has it on sale for like a seven-day sale. It's under $100 for the gold Golden Knights jersey. I wanted that one because it was so gaudy looking. Now I'm just looking for the gold hat to go with it, but I'm looking forward to having that gold Vegas Golden Knights jersey coming up here in a minute. And I believe this is the last, this is the last run of jerseys we got here. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Okay. So, Winnipeg Jets. So I have a lot of Winnipeg Jets as well because, again, they were selling off a lot of their stock when I picked up the Line A one when they traded him off. I was like, oh, let me see what they have. I can get a Line A jersey. Got one and a few others because they were all on sale. So this is, like, the, the black ice jerseys they had. I picked this up at a Marshalls here in Chicago um, several years several years before I really started to collect. And, again, I got it for, like, 40 bucks from the Marshalls. I'm sure I'll pick that up with the Captain C for Andrew Ladd on it. I will gladly take one of those, even though it's not like an authentic one they wore on the ice. I still like it, especially the blue and the black really works well together. I like some of the, the black ice. Some of them didn't work that well. This Winnipeg one definitely did. We got the Heritage Classic Winnipeg Jets jersey, which I do like. The 2019 Heritage Classic, I was like, I can't remember, which came with the patch from the team store. Uh, again, another good one that has chain stitching in the Jet logo there in the Winnipeg. Has chain stitching all over this. Really nice looking jersey. Um, again, throw back to that that old school Jets logo, which I unfortunately never got to really watch anybody play with, but I know that's what Team Solani is kind of known for. And it's got Patrick Laine on the back. Thus, again, like I said, it was clearance 
uh, for Paris Line Trade. And then this one is the, again, the Blue Jets one, which is really nice. This blue is really nice. I like that powdered blue look. It's a really nice looking jersey. Um, the neckline, we are True North, which again, it's most, I think it's the most, most Northern team, if I remember correctly. That's the We Are True North. Again, I could be completely wrong on some of those facts. I'm just kind of throwing them out there, but that's what I believe I've heard. Uh, but yeah, no, I just like that powder blue, the jet with like the kind of the jet here. You can kind of see like the outline of the jet and the, the, the T. And it's an A on there because it's a Dustin Bufflin one. I always like Dustin Bufflin, especially when he's on Chicago. And uh, again, they had this on clearance when I was looking through the lining. So I was like, cool, I'll pick up the blue Jets jersey I did not have yet to go with my Patrick Line one. So it works. And then we have the normal Winnipeg Jets home jersey so yeah super excited about this one and i did pick up the 10th anniversary patch from the team store because i think the shipping was like 20 or 30 dollars get a ship so i made sure i picked up a lot of stuff for that shipping cost so i'm gonna pay that kind of money for shipping i got a lot of stuff for it and i think i also got my hat from there too so i got like five or four things from there but yeah no i got the patch put on which is awesome the 10 year anniversary patch for the Winnipeg Jets logo, which again, I, I, it, it's grown on me. I didn't like it when they first unveiled it, but after I looked into the history of why they did this logo and the design of it, it started to grow on me, and now now I like it. I do like the Winnipeg Jets logo. I've definitely been a fan of them, especially Connor Hellebuck, Kyle Connor, Nikolai Ehlers, all those players I really enjoy. So, yeah, it was kind of nice having that jersey. So, yeah, that is our jersey countdown, guys, for the Western Conference. A little bit quicker than last time, so we did accomplish that feat. Now I'm wearing the team uh, – North America jersey for this because I do love this jersey so I'm hoping we have no World Cup of Hockey one day. But yeah, um, all the, the other than that, we yeah, we'll be bringing you guys that video from the, world, the, the the Nationals probably next Wednesday. We'll have a compilation of all the days thrown together. So look forward to that. That is where I'm at currently as you guys are watching this video. So yeah, I'm kind of excited and look for us on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff. Follow us on all of our social medias because I'll be posting throughout the day while I'm at the Nationals as well. So yeah. Uh, just a heads up on that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, or you guys want to mention anything of which jerseys you guys like, definitely comment below. Uh, and yeah, hopefully uh, we'll do this again in a couple of years when I have more jerseys to add to the collection, right? Don't yeah. forget about the hues. Choose which hues. Oh yeah, which choose which one you like. Hues. The hue. We want me to put the hues on the back of. Do you want this one on the skate, or do you guys want me on the white one? Because Kitty Conway likes the white one. But anyways, this uh, this concludes our jersey countdown now for Zach's hockey box. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will open for you guys again hopefully very soon probably next week bye guys